Hi, and welcome to this video in the virtual workshop series, exporting service estimates to QuickBooks. If you haven't already watched the setup and sync video, where you set up your QuickBooks LMN sync for the first time, go ahead and watch that first. This video is gonna assume you've already completed that project. Here we're gonna look specifically at how to export maintenance or service style estimates from LMN into QuickBooks. And there's a couple of different ways the information will show up, so we'll show you how the different ways work. First, you can take a look at your basic QuickBooks options under QuickBooks and then set up QuickBooks. This is gonna tell you by default, what status do you wanna view the estimates when you're ready to add them to the queue? And adding estimates to the queue is the same thing as saying an estimate is ready to be exported next time I run a QuickBooks export run. The default export format doesn't apply to service estimates. It actually looks at your billing type to determine how we're gonna export this. So you don't need to worry about that for service estimates. And the final one is estimate status update. What this option is saying is that after you export successfully a service estimate, we can automatically change the estimate status to reflect that. So for example, you could create an estimate status called QuickBooks exported. And after it, it completed a successful export, it could automatically set the status to that. You can configure your own estimate statuses under estimate setup and estimate statuses. Here's my list of service estimate statuses. If I wanted to add a QuickBooks exported one, I could create an add new. Now let's look at an actual service estimate for a second so you can see how I've set one up. I'm gonna go estimate service estimate and open this estimate that I've done for ABC properties. It's a very typical grounds maintenance type of estimate. I've got a line item in here for spring cleanup and it's billed as per hour per unit, which means it's not part of the default overall contract. I'm gonna charge the customer based on the number of hours or units of materials that I've billed on that job. Then I've also got my weekly grounds maintenance and I've booked that for 30 visits. And I've also put that at a per season price, which means my monthly invoice or my included in my per season total will be 30 visits of ground maintenance. Also, I've got bed maintenance per season. And my bed crew is going to go there six times in a year to do their pruning and cleanups. And that's also included in the per season price. And in this example, I'm going to assume the per season price is a monthly invoice we send the client. It doesn't matter how many hours I spend on ground maintenance or bed maintenance. We come up with a fixed price for them. You can tell what your fixed price is by going over here and looking at the per season cost and pricing. In the price column here and here, you'll see the total for the entire season. That's 30 visits of grounds maintenance. And my bill here is gonna be $3,586.50. I've also got mulching, but mulching I've set as per visit, which means we're only gonna bill it when we go and do it, but we're gonna bill one fixed rate. I'm not gonna bill hourly or based on the quantity of mulch. I've come up with a total. If I open up my mulching here, you'll see I've created a construction crew and a five ton dump and 25 yards of cedar mulch. Altogether, that's come up with a price of $2,318.37. That's gonna be my mulching price, but I'm gonna bill it when I go and do it. Next, I've got a fertilizing, and that's billed as per season, so that's gonna be included in my monthly contract pricing. And then I've got a fall cleanup, and that's set as per hour per unit, which means it's not included in my monthly pricing, and I bill that based on the hours of time that we're there. So of course you can set your contracts up any way you want simply by changing this build as or how you want to bill it per visit, per season, or per hour or unit. Seasonal line items will get included in your monthly invoice or your regular client payment. Per visit means you're going to go bill it each and every time you go do a visit and you'll bill it at a flat rate of whatever specified in this column over here. Per hour unit means it's going to look inside this work area and actually figure out how to bill it based on the contents. So for my fall cleanup, for example, I've got a maintenance crew that I bill at $50 an hour and I've got organic disposal per yard at $40 a yard. So when I go generate an invoice for this client, I'm actually going to generate it based on the number of hours we're there and the number of yards we dispose of. It doesn't matter in my estimate how many hours I've estimated we're billing the client based on actuals. 
Let's take a look at how to add this estimate to the export queue and what it looks like when we finally export it to QuickBooks. There's two ways to add an estimate to the export queue. Right on here on the top of your screen, you can click this button and say export to QuickBooks. When it's been added to the queue, you can now see the status says queued for export. It hasn't been exported to QuickBooks yet. It's just sitting there ready to be exported. It's gonna take someone in your company who's got QuickBooks permissions to run this export. You can also go to QuickBooks, QuickBooks export. This will show you all the estimates you have in your database. And if I click export queue up here, it's also gonna show me all the estimates that have been flagged as queued or ready to export. Here I've got a maintenance one and a construction one. Let's say I wasn't ready to import my construction estimate at this time. You can simply go remove and it will remove that from the queue and leave me with just the maintenance estimate that we were looking at. You can add as many or as few estimates as you want to the queue. It'll process these all in one big batch. I'll just leave it at the one for now. Click the run QuickBooks sync button and it'll open up your LMN QuickBooks integration tool. Obviously you have to run this on a computer where this has been installed. When you're ready, click Import Estimates. Now it's gonna bring up a message for you that says it's ready to start, but you need to open your QuickBooks to your company file and log in with somebody using an administrator account. The export will be much faster if you have QuickBooks open. It is possible to work if it's not open, but it's better and faster if you do have it open. So here I've opened QuickBooks in my background. I'm gonna click Next. And now it's gonna retrieve the estimates that are ready for export from LMN. And it's actually gonna look in QuickBooks to see things like, does this customer already exist in QuickBooks? Am I gonna add a new customer or I'm gonna add this estimate to an existing customer's record? So give it a second while it does that as it may take a little while if you have a lot of estimates sitting in the queue. Since I just had one estimate, it was fairly quick. Here it says the date, the customer, the address, and the job site name or the uh, project name for this estimate. And over here, it also gives us the option to match it to an existing customer. The import status right now says new customer, new job, which means it didn't find a customer in QuickBooks with this exact name, ABC Properties. So it's gonna create a new customer and a new job for this customer. If you know ABC Properties already exists in QuickBooks, you can click the match customer button find ABC properties, and set up a link between them. When you're ready to export, click the Sync Now button. Depending on how many estimates you have in the queue, it's going to tell you how many estimates it is exporting. When it's complete, it's going to say the synchronization was complete. Now, if you had any errors, which we didn't hear, you can click, click here to view the log file, and it'll explain which estimates got imported and what the status of each one was. Mine says it was complete. If I had an error, it would show up there as well. This estimate had an error and we'll give you an error description for each estimate. If you do have an error and you need some help with it, don't hesitate to contact us. You can email us at support, support at landscapemanagementnetwork.com or you can use the live chat or you can call us as well. I'm gonna close that down and let's take a look at what that looked like in QuickBooks. Now let's remember on our service estimates, we had a few different styles of billing. Some stuff was per season, some stuff was per visit, and other items were per hour or unit. So how do we handle all this in QuickBooks? Here's our ABC properties and my West Pines Mall and the estimate I developed for this. Now there were three different styles of billing that I used on my LMN estimate. Let's take a look back at the estimate to see. Spring cleanup was billed per hour per unit. Grounds maintenance, bed maintenance, and fertilizing were billed per season. And by that, I usually mean I want to split this up over an even monthly price or a monthly invoice. Mulching was billed per visit, which means I'm going to bill them one flat rate once we're done. And again, fall cleanup is per hour per unit, which means I don't know how much I'm going to charge the customer other than I know an hourly rate or a rate for the materials that I'm going to install or dispose of. Let's see how each one of these is handled into QuickBooks. Spring cleanup is per hour per unit. If I open that up, you can see I've created a crew, one hour at $50 an hour. 
and disposal one yard at $40 a yard. These quantities don't matter when we're exporting per hour per visit to QuickBooks. It doesn't care about the estimated quantities. What it does care about is the actual quantities. How many hours or how many yards of disposal actually happen when you were out on site. So when it exports that into QuickBooks, you're going to see, here's my spring cleanup and everything above it will be the items that were in the spring cleanup. Quantity is set to zero for my crew and my disposal charges because I don't know how many we actually incurred on site until you're finished. The rate is $50 an hour for the crew and $40 a yard for the disposal. When the crew and the disposal are complete, we would come back here and we'd set this accurately. So if my crew spent eight man hours on site doing the cleanup and we disposed two yards of yard waste, I'd set that to eight and two, and I'd come up with my total price for spring cleanup. That's how per hour per visit billing works in LMN. Set it here to per hour per visit. It gets exported over to QuickBooks as zero quantities, but the rates that you set for each LMN line item do get exported accurately. When you've completed the work, set the quantity according to how many hours or material quantities you had in sight, and it'll set the billing accurately. The next one is this thing called weekly grounds maintenance or bed maintenance or fertilizing. All these items in my estimate, and yours may be different, but all these items in this example estimate I set as per season. Per season means we're going to get one lump sum price per season, and then we're going to divide that over X number of months to give the client a monthly invoice. This is a very common way of invoicing maintenance work. In this scenario, it doesn't really matter what I've got inside grounds maintenance. Here I've got a maintenance crew and a truck and I've got hours and that's how I came up with my price. But ultimately, it doesn't matter whether I spend three hours on site or 30 hours on site. I've given my customer a fixed price for the season. When you see how these kind of items get exported to QuickBooks, you'll see that it shows up grounds maintenance weekly and the entire season total will show up here in the rate. Bed maintenance and fertilizing, which are also seasonal totals, appear the same way. It's the entire season total appears there. This is to allow you to do progressive invoicing. So here in QuickBooks, you can click Create Invoice. And you can create an invoice for a percentage of the different items on the invoice. So if I was to create these payments over eight months, I'd want to divide each one of these totals here by one eighth. Now one eighth is 0.125. So if I wanted to create a one month invoice based on an eight month invoicing cycle for this job, I'd simply hit create an invoice. And then for my maintenance work, my quantity would be 1.125, which is one eighth. So I'll do one for the grounds maintenance, I'll do that also for the fertilizing, and I'll also do that for any other items on this contract marked as seasonal. If now that I've got my one eighth totals in here, you can see I'm invoicing one eighth, or one payment of the grounds maintenance at 448, one of the bed maintenance at 200, and one at the fertilizing at 6195 for a total monthly invoice of 80328. So I could create eight of these invoices as a memorized transaction, and I'd then bill my customer $803.28 eight times, and I'd arrive at the totals I need to arrive at. So now we've covered the per hour unit scenario, and we've covered the per season scenario. The only remaining one is the per visit scenario. When something is flagged as per visit, we've got a total price that we want to charge the customer, but we don't charge it to them until after we've done the service. So in this case here, we've created mulching with a quantity of zero, but a rate at the total price we arrived at for the mulching. So in LMN, in my mulching, I have a crew and a truck and the mulch, and the total price arrived to $2,318.37. So when it exported this to QuickBooks, it exported mulching at $2,318.37 with zero as the quantity. When you've completed the mulching work at the customer, you can go create an invoice, flag mulching with a quantity of one, and it will bill that visit or that application of mulch to the customer. That's how LMN handles all three different scenarios of billing. Per hour, per unit, it's gonna to export to QuickBooks the correct rates for each item within this service area. 
but it'll export the quantities at zero. You fill them in when you complete the work. For anything flagged as per season, it's going to export the lump sum seasonal price into QuickBooks. And in QuickBooks, you can start doing your progressive invoicing from there. Anything marked as per visit, it's going to mark the entire price for the visit, but a quantity of zero. And when you're done the application or the installation, you can set the quantity to one and it'll bill that full amount. Those are your three different ways of exporting service estimate type work. If you're exporting a standard estimate, make sure you look back on the LMN virtual workshop to find the videos on exporting standard estimates into QuickBooks. Thanks again for watching.